Good Morning News North. I'm Emma Bradshaw. And I'm Dylan Ford. Welcome to the first episode of the announcements of 2020. With the new year and decade starting, we wanted to see what New Year's resolutions students have made for the upcoming year. Alex Weimer took to the halls to find out. With a new year comes new resolutions. Mine, for example, revolves around trying to run more and get at least a mile in per day. So I went down to the cafeteria to see what other people's resolutions were. Let's go! So what were your New Year's resolutions this year? Um, mine is to be on my phone less. <laughs> um, to say less self-deprecating things. <laughs> to start doing 30 push-ups and 30 sit-ups every day. Uh, probably to keep my grades over a B average. How do you plan on doing that? Going to more X blocks, trying to study more? Yeah, going to more X blocks, spending more time at home, getting more free time, using my free time to study. Um, hang out with my friends more often. I actually don't do New Year's resolutions anymore. Um, my family um, and I have been doing weekly resolutions where we individually, we don't like meet up and do anything like that. But um, basically, we decide on specific things to work on each week and uh, it's a lot more manageable than doing full-on New Year's resolutions. Well, I feel like if I spend more time, like, putting aside time for my homework, like, not at home, then I can spend more time with my family. I just want to be more social on the whole, um, try and meet new people and try new things. Um, I have a bad habit of going to Newtonville for pizza every day, oh, and I spend a lot of money and eat a lot of pizza, so I want to restrict myself to only going to Newtonville pizza twice a week make more plans with my friends or like try to spend more days outside or doing things that I enjoy and just like put my phone away for more time. Well, it seems like North students have big plans for this brand new decade. For NNTV, this is Alex Weimer. Happy New Year. Thanks guys. Hopefully we will all be successful at following through with our resolutions. As winter continues, city councilors are looking for a group of high schoolers to help seniors shovel their snow. This is a great volunteering opportunity. If you're interested, please fill out the interest form linked in the description of this video. As a reminder, all of our videos can be found on the YouTube channel Newton North TV. The Roar store has some new items in, designed by the marketing class here at Newton North, like new mugs and Black's Champion sweatpants shown in the picture. Come see their new merchandise and shop this Friday and every Friday during lunch blocks. There will be many more items to come. Make sure to stop by to buy school merch. The new items include Chromebook sleeves, champion sweatpants, one-year-old onesies, two-year-old t-shirts, and white baseball hats. Myra Rabinowitz and Kaylee Carson give us an inside look at the Roar store. From Newton North's outstanding academics to our record-breaking athletics, there's so much to be proud of. And what better way to do that than to wear school apparel to show off your pride? Recently, the Roar store has moved locations and grown in size. The Roar store is conveniently located in the calf and filled with great merch. From pop sockets to pens and even flash drives. Beyond that, if you're looking to show off some Newton North pride at the next school event, there's apparel you can sport. They sell sweatshirts, t-shirts, long sleeves, sweatpants, and even hats and ties. Head on down to the Roar store every Friday open during e-blocks to score yourself some great gear. Thanks guys. As all of us know, the climate crisis is a huge problem. If you want climate change education to be a part of the Newton curriculum, sign the petition at bit.ly slash climate underscore education. The link can also be found in the description of this video. The winning house office of the Newton Food Pantry Drive competition is Berry House. Congratulations on winning. A huge bowl of candy is now placed in the house office for the juniors. Thank you so much for everyone who donated. Athletics this week are as follows. Today, girls hockey and boys wrestling face Milton, and on Friday, girls basketball plays Needham. On Saturday, boys hockey plays Belmont, and on Monday, girls and boys hockey both face Needham. Recently, Mr. Laser's C-Block English class released an album called Defiant Acoustics to share some of the poetry they wrote for their poetry slam. They're using this album as an opportunity to express their identities and inspire others. If you'd like to listen, the album is available on SoundCloud at 368 Records. Well, that's all we have for this week's announcements. Thanks for tuning in, and be sure to check out our website at newtonnorthtv.com.